Hey there toy collector friends and Transformers fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. I am the time traveling toy collector and this is the heroic Autobot from the Prime Universe Bulkhead now appearing as part of the Transformers Legacy range. Yes indeed um, we finally have in hand our very first uh, Legacy figure. Um, I have to say I picked this up um, at a convention, London, uh, no, not in London, that's a complete lie, um, Wales Comic Con, uh, which took place in Telford in 2022, April 2022. Um, always a fantastic range of vendors uh, there, always worth having a look, and I've talked about picking them up in a previous video around uh, toy halls, um, uh, as in H-A-U-L, not H-A-L-L. Um, and and uh, some toy shopping tips if you're out and about venues like that. This was a real um, one of those moments where uh, it was a spur of the moment decision to purchase it. Uh, I will not fib. I I was not. Uh, I'm not familiar with the character. He wasn't around when I was um, <laughs> when I was playing. Now you know eight plus fantastic. Well, I'm definitely that. Um, when I was playing with uh, Transformers. Bulkhead was not one of the characters um, that was on my radar uh, and the Prime Universe uh, being a range of figures that came much, much later. Um, however, uh, as was recently revealed in the um, uh, a fan, a fan First Tuesday held by uh, Hasbro, um, uh, they explained a little more about the, the nature of the, the Legacy range and how... Uh, we're kind of seeing the evolution of the the Transformers equivalent of the Marvel of the Marvel multiverse, really. So it's a Transformers multiverse, um, and it's seeing all different figures from all different ranges coming together, um, being given a kind of Transformers Generations engineering upgrade. So they will rep they will be rec they will be recognisably the figures that they once were but they will be given an engineering upgrade, much like a lot of the G1 figures were um, as part of either the Studio 86 range um, or the War for Cybertron trilogy, um, is my reading of things. Um, I haven't even opened this yet, so he's all still taped up. Um, <coughs> as I say, wasn't going to get one. Didn't mean anything to me. Um, I have uh, some, some interest in the Legacy range. Uh, in terms of what's coming up, but the, I, I, I wasn't being compelled to collect every single figure. And then I saw this guy uh, sitting on um, the counter on one of these um, the stalls, and I was like, ah, he looked like he, he needed me to take him home. And uh, so that's exactly what happened. And you know what? I've kind of, I haven't taken him out yet, um, and I have watched a couple of other people's reviews of the character. Um, and I've kind of fallen a bit in love with it. Um, and I really love, I'm getting close while he's still in the box. I really, because there's something about the box I want to have a, a, a little chat with that. Um, I really love the way they've got his chin. That, that head sculpt is, is something else. You know, he, he, uh, he means business. That is a, that is a, a all business chin that he's got going on there. And we see it there. And, and I, again, a little bit of research that I did into the character, um, it's always good to watch uh, if you're if you're new to Transformers or you want to do some research into um, eras of Transformers that perhaps you're less familiar with because you weren't collecting, or you'd stopped collecting, or you'd you know done what some of us do, which is you know grown up uh, and stopped playing, uh, and then realised that actually it's okay to to collect stuff and it's okay to to um, go back to your childhood and relive it and play. Because, uh, you know, having a nice play is uh, damn sight preferable to some other unpleasant things that people could be doing in the world. And goodness knows there's enough unpleasantness in the world. Is there not? So uh, play more, fight less, I would suggest. Um, not political, just generally. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'm having that. And have it, I did. So I was really, really excited to pick him up. Um, and, uh, yeah. I would recommend that if you're not familiar with the character, um, the web series uh, Transformers The Basics is really good. Um, and they, they, they do a fantastic job 
not only of individual characters, but also of different uh, different eras and timelines and worlds. It's fantastic. The basics on is great. Um, they also now have upgraded to a QR tech specs. So you get a set, hints of the tech specs, but you can now do it using a QR. So if you want to scan that, uh, there's a freebie on me, you can. Um, but uh, the figure is mine. So again, as with War for Cybertron figures, you get some lovely artwork on the side. And again, when, you know, in the majority of Transformers through time, the box artwork has been spectacular. Um, and we have here some wonderful character shots, as I have alluded to already. Um, and there is Bulkhead with a very bulky head that goes with the rest of him. And there he is in his alternative vehicle mode, um, which is uh, lovely. Now, the thing that I want to pick up on the packaging, which I wouldn't, you know, normally do, I enjoy the packaging and then it's it's uh, over to the figure, is here. Now, we've seen in some of the Kingdom uh, display, uh, in some of the Kingdom boxes, that there was a significant reduction in the plastic window to reduce uh, um, environmental impact. Th on the Legacy range, they've done away with the plastic window completely, but there is still a window. This means people can reach in and grab the figure. This means if you display stuff in your boxes, they can get dusty. This means if it falls off a shelf, or a child reaches for it from a shelf, or an adult, to be fair, I don't want it, it's not about age, uh, it's about competency, um, and it drops, then it's quite possible that it could be damaged. Um, people could reach in, heaven forbid, reach in and pull the head off. I'm sure that wouldn't happen. Um, but we do have enough people stealing from boxes in, in stores as it is. I, so I don't know how I feel about this. I totally get the environmental consciousness uh, around it and, uh, and I'm fully um, signed up for that. I just wonder, it, it's, it's almost an unnecessary risk to have it exposed to the elements. I wonder whether we should have just gone with a, the packaging fully in, although I personally do like to be able to see the toy, not least to make sure it's the right one and somebody hasn't pulled an old switcheroo. So it's a tricky one because yes, I'd like to see the figure before that I'm buying before I buy it, um, but I am aware that this brings with it a few of its own risks and concerns. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of torn. Be interesting to know what your views are. Do leave uh, some comments on the video below. Whilst you're there, you could also hit the like button you know, and subscribe to the channel, because why not? Um, and you'll never miss a video on future Transformers uh, legacy figures, because obviously, if I'm going to start collecting the legacy figures, there will be more to follow, and believe me, there will be more to follow. There's also the Studio 86 range, which continues to grow, so you might want to check that out as well. I've got a playlist for that, along with other Transformers through time, and you might like other things like Star Trek or Star Wars or Battlestar Galactica or Doctor Who or who knows what. How it'll look around, there might be something that you like. Anyway, um, I'm going to pull this guy out of the box, see what he's like in hand, and I'll be right back with you before you can say, Jumping Jehoshaphat. Which is kind of ironic because I find that quite hard to say myself. Anyway, uh, here he is, all released from the box, so let's do a quick up-down. Uh, I have to say, I did... I, <laughs> Uh, that took me slightly longer than I expected because he was very well secured in the box. So I think Hasbro may have picked up some pointers around not letting people access um, the, f the toy too much. Uh, I'm just going to rotate him around on, on the stand so you get a, a, a nice 360 here. Um, he comes with this backpack which isn't attached uh, at the point at which um, you put him out of the box. Uh, and it has several functions. You can also use it as a shield. Um, and as a blast shield, as well as uh, as having it a uh, rider on his back, um, and more on that momentarily. But yeah, what a beautiful figure! This is a beautiful figure, and it's nice and chunky. He's nice and he's nice and um, I want to say G one. He's not a G one character, I don't believe. I think he he's uh, certainly not one that I was ever familiar with. But he does have um, a real character to him that sort of makes me think. Yeah, I can see this guy up against. Uh, alongside rather the likes of Irons, Ironhide and Ratchet and so on and so forth. Um, beautiful figure, really lovely. I mean, we can see, we can see, let me just zoom in a bit more for you um, on that uh, head sculpt there, just how 
just how well that looks. Uh, it's great. You've got the windscreen, you've got the sort of big old Optimus Prime-esque chest there. Um, it's almost sort of begging to be recolorized for some other iteration of Optimus in the future. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a, it's, so he's, he's got the Optimus Prime family uh, chest, um, if you like, there. There's some lovely uh, detailing uh, on the shoulders there. Um, the, the nice uh, green and grey really pops well together with the red Autobot signal sig insignia there. You've got um, windscreen wipers, which are a little bit apparent on the front there. But what I think it does, it does, it does really do a good good job of sort of fusing the generations together in a single current figure. Um, as I mentioned, I'll take you take you down the the whole body. The the chest sculpt is great. The leg sculpt. Um, is really solid. I mean, you can see a little bit of hollow spacing here and there, um, but you know, cons all things considered, I think that still looks great, and it's a darn sight better than we were used to uh, when we were when I was a kid collecting these. Um, not much in terms of hollow space around the actual feet itself. The wheels, uh, they're, they're free rolling, so they don't sort of lock into place, but they are, they are there. They're um, uh, consistently black against the green. Um, there's his blaster, which I've elected to put into his right hand, which is very nicely detailed. Um, sort of energonic blue, and you can see as the light catches it, it's quite effective. It's a very effective um, weapon. And it's got a sort of Gatling gun-esque barrel there. You can see that, um, which will probably then fit somewhere nicely onto his a uh, vehicle mode. Um, so here he is look at that look at that body um what a what a what a chunky figure is is the best way to describe him uh, let's check out the back yeah so that that's the, the the rear which does come off and you can attach it uh, the backs of his legs are nicely filled in same with the the back of the um the, where the calves would be you do have all the necessary points of articulation that you would expect so you've got knee You've got hip in all directions. Little mini ratchets there as well, which is nice to see and feel. Um, the shoulders and elbows and wrists do all rotate and you do get uh, waist articulation as well, along with the head, which is on a ball joint, which has a degree of limited rotation due to the size of his chin and the way the head is inlaid on the main body. But even so, you can still position that head in certain ways to get some nice characterful um, photos at least that's what I'm foreseeing happen uh, I'll get some taken at the end of the video so I can inlay them uh, at the end so you can see how he is um, for some toy photography in, in situ uh, and in the fullness of time I'll get him to appear in some of the uh, photo shoots for my Instagram page as well alongside some of his War for Cybertron Studio Series 66 and upcoming Legacy compatriots. So what else do you get? You also get this, which is another weapon that Bulkhead can use. Um, it attaches over his fist, which is nice. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it, it's beautifully detailed. You can see there just how beautifully detailed that is. Um, unlike some of the G1 stuff that we, we used to have. Um, you know, there was no sense of uh, particular care and detailing, sorry, care and detailing um, to some of the weapons. They were sort of single chunky blasters and away we go. Nowadays, you can really see that differential. Um, so where you've got this, which he's obviously going to use to smash his way. Let's see, let's attach it. This should always be funny because that's why I tend to try and do this thing, these things off. Um, I haven't read the instructions yet, so I'm probably going to do it wrong. Um, I should probably not do that because I'm going to break it. And those of you who already got the figure who know how to do it right are screaming at the figure right now saying, no, don't do that. Oh my goodness me, don't do that. It's going to be a nightmare. Uh, I'm just trying to see where it says on our on our leaflets here. Um, all right, yeah, so I think I have to fold down uh, hands and things. So it's a bit more, it's a bit more not so straightforward uh, to attach it. So let's have a little look. Um, this is the joy of, of just opening the figure and going straight with it, you see. 
uh, that's that's what happens when you start doing that so I think what I'll probably do is do that for some of the photo poses but yeah I, I think it's a really great I just want that to fit wouldn't that be nice there's no finger articulation on this but it's that class of figure so uh, it's not entirely unexpected that that's gonna happen um, that tends not to happen for some of the Voyager figures uh, I really like the character forms for that face you know it's a it's a face you can hear <laughs> if that makes sense uh, yeah I can kind of hear this guy uh, and I can definitely see him see him in poses uh, a range of poses I can't wait so uh, overall robot mode first impressions I really am taken with him I think he's a great looking uh, addition to the Autobot masses um, I, I'm really glad that I've picked him up picked him up very reasonably priced as well again watch out uh, the scalpers are around um, and legacy figures are being picked up gobbled up some of you would have seen um, this week well, the week of the video coming out um, there was a fan first Tuesday Hasbro announced the launch of some more legacy class figures which included and this is something I'm excited about um, the um, the new Motormaster from the Stunticon range, uh, Menasaur, and the Stunticons was one of my first um, combiners. I had uh, Superion, the G1 Aerial Bots uh, combiner figure, and I had Menasaur, the G1 Stunticons uh, combiner. Lost to time now, of course, um, but uh, I'm really looking forward to rebuilding and recapturing the magic of Menasaur. Um, and I looked earlier and I have unsurprisingly uh, I have pre-ordered these these these, these um, figures uh, but I looked on um, Hasbro.com earlier on today because I was looking for something else that I was trying to get a price for and I noticed that the Motormaster pre-order Motormaster had already sold out so um, you know I think it, it speaks to the popularity of these figures uh, even now just how quickly they will they will fly off the virtual shelves as well as on the other shelves so again I am minded that some of those purchasers will be block purchasing for the purposes of reselling on eBay um, again it's I understand the temptation to just pay that extra I was gonna say a little bit extra but often it's not a little bit extra it's quite a lot extra um, to get them in your hands but as long as people do that then they will be able to continue to do that very scalping thing that i i resent so much it's not easy unless there are you know like some of the the, the reputable uh, online retailers um well in my experience reputable reputable dealer, dealers um for example in demand toys uh, who i get a lot of my orders from as a as a toy um recognized toy store um they limit certain numbers of pre-orders so you can't have more than so many in popular figures to eliminate that exact issue and again it's it's good that they do that I, I fully am aware that it wouldn't erase the entire situation because if somebody wanted to they could set up three or four different accounts I get all of that um, but it's nice that they they make the effort and don't make it so easy and make it a bit more of a chore um, and as I say the more people pay the the scalp money the more people will will spend it um uh, will charge it rather sorry so uh, yeah tricky one uh, but i'm not going to turn this into a platform for that discussion right now um i'm going to see if i can transform bulkhead up uh, into his alternate mode and then give you some feedback on on how i found it as ever i'm not going to do the transformation on camera purely because a it takes an awfully long time and you've got to sit through the pain but also because I dare say they'll be swearing, they'll be all manner of upset, um, and I far be it from me to um, ruin your day with what is essentially just going to be one major set of outtakes. So um, let's pretend using the magic of television and uh, YouTube that uh, it happens in the blink of an eye. And as if by magic, it's all done. And I wish I could say it was magic. It wasn't. It was. Uh, it was. It wasn't actually. To be fair, it was. It wasn't too bad. Um, it took me a little bit longer than perhaps I would have liked it to take me. Um, but that was more due to 
as some of you may have experienced, when, when you get a new transformer, they're, they're, some of the joints, most of the joints are quite stiff. So by default, um, it's some of the transformation is a little bit nerve wracking because you think, well, the instructions are telling me to do this. But when I try and do this, it, it's, there's no give. And I think I'm going to snap something or I'm misreading it. Um, so, uh, yeah, and there's a, there's a couple of little sections around some of the connectivity within um, the, 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 the cab and the waste elements of the transformation that I found a little bit tricky. Um, close examination of, the, of where the tabs are, uh, as well as a very close examination of the instructions do help you with that. Um, and then what, uh, what I did towards the end was uh, just a bit of a crunch, crunch, crunch to push it together to make sure that everything lined up because I was still having a little bit of an issue with some bits around um, the middle where the legs uh, transform up and in. But uh, I think that was probably just me um, feeling the pressure of time trying to get it done for you, despite the fact that no time has passed since you last saw it. So I've put the, um, the Gatling uh, Energon gun on the top there. That's one of the various options. It can also pour in at the sides. Um, but I think this makes for a really nice uh, vehicle mode. The alt mode is really, really nice. The translucent plastic around the cab um, is really lovely to see. The detailing around the the, the lights there. Um, the th there's some beautiful engineering in the legs um, around these these canisters that do some fantastic uh, folding away and folding in and out. That's absolutely lovely. Uh, the sh the his shield does look very very nice when it forms the canopy. Um, we have his feet. Uh, unsurprisingly from the back section here which can be opened here and there is the scope to store his weapons away in there I haven't chosen to do that on this occasion but it can be done should you wish to do it so and I, and I do like one of the things I really like um, about this new range of transformers whichever particular range it is whether it's studio series or the war for Cybertron trilogy or the new legacy and whatever else is coming next um, so far is that the, the capacity to store these weapons and to mount the weapons in the vehicle mode and also in their in their robot mode there's usually somewhere you can tab them on uh, and I really appreciate that uh, as someone who historically got rid of boxes eventually I used to keep them a long time and then they'd, then they'd go um, and I was always very mindful of losing weapons and armaments and guns and so on and so forth so ultimately let's talk vehicle mode um, and here we have this sort of uh, robust, what would you call it, personnel character. It reminds me of an old G.I. Joe um, uh, all-terrain, I was going to say all-terrain armoured transport, but that's a very different franchise. Um, but it reminds me of something that used to be in the G.I. Joe range um, that was an amphibious uh, personnel troop carrier type thing. So that, that's the vibe I get from this. Um, I suppose, depending on what you see when you look at it, dates you tremendously. Um, it, again, it, it does ta ultimately tabs together really well. There's no elements falling apart. There's very little visible botness underneath there, which I, I always appreciate. Um, there's some very good engineering around the, the, the tucking of the arms, the chest section, the location of the head. As I say, the legs were very, very well engineered. Um, so ultimately, I was really happy with this. The the, the wheels um, uh, free wheel quite well, so it does roll very neatly. Um, so yeah, I'm really super happy with this uh, alt mode. Um, I do love the detailing on it. As I say, the the, the doors, the windows, um, the vents, uh, the suggestion that the tar it's a tarpaulin covering the back, uh, the gas canisters on the side, um, the fact we can have rear access to it is great the portable uh, as in the gun that can be installed in different ports um all of that it, i really i really love it and i think it's a lovely realization um and a really really nice alt mode for our uh, beloved bulkhead um i'm glad i'm glad i picked him up i i i'm I honestly was not as i've mentioned already i was not intending to and then when I saw him staring at me across a crowded convention, um, 
I just uh, a, a thousand violins played, and I had to go. <laughs> I had to go and pick him up, and I'm so glad that I have. Um, what I'll also do is is get a couple of in situ photos that I'll take using using this figure, um, so you can have sight of that. Uh, I'll install them at the end of the video just to sort of see what he'll take or how he looks uh, in photo when he's being photographed as a bit of toy photography. Um, I will run part. You know, there's nothing particularly spectacular in the box, uh, as as is usually the case these days. Um, the instructions come as per a, a linear leaflet, which shows you the various ways you can port the weapons, uh, the ways you can attach um, the, the the various different bits and pieces. Um, so all in all, very nice and straightforward transformation. As I say, where I struggled was not really to do with the transformation per se, but was more to do, I would say, with the um, the stiffness of the joints that were there. Uh, and so that was what caused me some hardship. Um, and I think um, when I transform him back so that I can store him back in the box uh, and or put him on display, I will... Uh, it, I'll become more comfortable with it. It wasn't, it wasn't a particularly overly complex and challenging um, transformation. Uh, it was just that the nerves that surround me on a, on a first transformation, particularly where the joints are quite stiff, and some of them you do really think, goodness me, this is it's going to fracture, and I'm going to be left with two halves of bulkhead, which wouldn't not have made me a happy bunny. So. Uh, does Bulkhead have a place in your Transformers collection? Well, of course, that's entirely down to you. I would say, for me, he didn't have. Then um, I found him, I saw him, I had him in hand. I've played played a little bit with him as I've messed with him from form to form. Um, I think there's more messing to be done. So for me, it's a no-brainer. He, I love the way the light engages with that Energon weapon, and I hope that's a feature throughout the Legacy range. I'm getting a, a sense that it's going to be. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to getting a few more Legacy figures as soon, so that Bulkhead has some company. Um, I hope that you do feel that this video has uh, informed you sufficiently as to whether or not Bulkhead belongs in your collection. Um, but to be fair, either way, as long as you can make an informed decision based on what you've seen, then that for me is a win. And I would love for you to celebrate that win by hitting the like button uh, down below and subscribing to the channel. And whilst you're subscribing to the channel, turn on those notifications so you never miss a future video. Um, thank you very, very much for spending the last 25 minutes or so of your life with me and with Bulkhead. Um, you have been a truly fantastic audience. Um, I have been the time travelling toy collector, as I mentioned. This has been Bulkhead from the Prime Universe, now manifesting as part of the Transformers Legacy range from Hasbro and Tara Kara Tomy. Um, I'm thrilled to have him here. I'm thrilled that you stayed for the whole video. Watch out for some video uh, photographic shots at the end, and I'll see you very soon in our next video. In the meantime, take care and one to roll out.